So this time I'm going for a horror ambience, atmosphere or drone. And I want it to have a bit of movement, so it's not just a static sound. And I also want it to have a distorted metallic feel. Keeping that in mind, we can start with the default preset in Vital. And the oscillator setup which is going to be pretty simple. I just want two sine waves. And essentially I only want the second one to get some width in there. So I'm just going to give this three voices and detune it a bit. And then we can already head over to the effects section. And because I want this to have a metallic character, I like to use chorus for this type of sound. So we can just increase the frequency. And also the feedback is going to be crucial for this. I don't want to set it at 100%, but maybe somewhere between 80 and 90%. And also the mix can be all the way up because this is what's mainly going to give us the metallic sound that I want. So I'm already going to activate the compressor after this just to keep things in check a bit. You can just increase the delay here and also the depth. And we can also put some reverb at the end. Again, I want this sound to be kind of washed out. So I'm just going to set this to 100% as well. And I'm going to cut the highs here. And now the main thing is going to come from the distortion. What I like to do to create movement is to push certain frequencies into a distortion. I'm just going to use the filter within the distortion and just set it to pre. And now because we have really cranked the distortion here, we can actually also change this to hard clip. We kind of now in combination with the chorus and the distortion and the rather higher resonance that we have here, we get this kind of metallic sound. So that's kind of the typical, I would say, disturbing sound is often used for horror ambiences and sort of scary backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, we can actually give this some movement and just put an alpha on a cutoff here. A bit slower because, again, we want it to be slowly evolving. We don't want any fast movements in there. And with the resonance now you can create really extreme effects, but I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. We can also increase this effect a bit if we just use another LFO and put it on the pitch of one of these oscillators and just give it a bit of pitch modulation. Similar to what I did in my other uh, horror video and uh, dystopian atmospheres video. So maybe reduce the frequency here a bit. So this is already interesting. Now we can also increase this effect depending on what kind of notes we're playing. So one thing that usually works is to use minor seconds. These notes, they are going to clash. It's a very dissonant interval. So this is just going to increase the effect that we created with the chorus and the distortion. And of course you can, if you want, either within vital or with external effects, just maybe EQ it a bit, cut the lows, depending on, on how much rumble you actually want, because there is a lot of stuff going on down here and you might also want to tame the resonances. Also a bit of compression maybe. And this kind of sound can be used for background ambiences and scores. Um, it's great for intros to set a certain tone or mood. But we can also just create something really quickly. Again, maybe just a boom here. The usual, maybe increase this here and then like this. Maybe put a few rises. Maybe something like this. longer one, maybe a third one for the final here. Maybe uh, the shorter ones can be panned. Maybe I introduce a different sound here and maybe filter it in.
increase the volume of the boom a bit and then we should be fine. <laughs> 